What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery and today we have Miss Roberta Flack. For those who don't know who Roberta Flack is, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, Roberta Flack is a musician, a, a classically trained pianist, writer, very good writer, vocalist, you know, any other, any other adjective you want to use, that's, that's, that's her. She's known, very much well known for her collaborations with the late, great Donny Hathaway. You know, their collaborations are all legendary. You know, Where is the Love, You Are My Heaven, You Know, The Closer I Get to You. you know, she, she, in her own right, is very well known. She is actually the one who wrote the song Killing Me Softly that was uh, redone by Lauryn Hill. Roberta Flack is the one that wrote the song Killing Me Softly. So that's who you need the credit for that. Alright? Alright. Now I got hit to Roberta Flack actually the same time I got hit to Donnie Hathaway. Because like I said, um, I did a video, I did a drawing of Donny Hathaway where I explained when I first heard him, right? And the song Where Is The Love, she's on that song as well, okay? She's on the song Where Is The Love. So, you know, she, when she sings a song, she sings a female role. And her voice is just as powerful as his. Like, with, with that song, you don't hear him overshadowing her and vice versa. They work together. Her voice doesn't overpower. Her voice is a compliment to whomever she's singing with. That's just in my opinion. When, when she sings, you can hear her, but she doesn't take over a song. She's a compliment to the song. It's very smooth, very, very sultry, with like a raspy undertone to it. It's like almost church-like, almost, you know, like you're in a church. That soulful, spiritual essence to it. That's how I would describe her voice. Yeah, I heard her the same time I heard um, Where's the Love. Uh, from Donnie Hathaway. Then I heard her again. Actually, I heard um, I heard Killing Me Softly. I heard her version of Killing Me Softly before I heard Lauryn Hill's version. I just didn't know that that was Roberta Flack. I've heard I've heard the song before. I just didn't know that. Oh, that's Roberta Flack singing that. I just knew I just knew I heard the song before. So. When I heard Lauren Hill sing it, I said, okay, the person I'm hearing being Lauren Hill does not sound like the person that I heard singing it before, Roberta Flack. I said, okay, that, that looked up, said, who, and I looked up who originally wrote the song. And I saw Roberta Flack, I was like, oh, wait, Roberta Flack, okay. And I remember, I said, wait a minute, I've seen that name before. I've seen Roberta Flack before. Where did I see that name before? Well, I saw that name with Donnie Hathaway. I said, oh, okay. I get it now. That's the same one. So then I did more investigation. I'm like, okay, that's okay. That's her. Well, all right. And that's for Brother Fleck.
closer I get to you The more you lose you I give you all love has captured me Over and over again I try to tell myself that we can never be more than friends. Oh, I said I knew it was real, the way you make me feel. Lying here next to you. Let's me realize what that song is really about. People who like kind of like, it's kind of like a, like a friend zone song. Like somebody got out of the friend zone finally. Like two friends finding themselves falling in love with each other. Get closer, sweet as the gravity. See, kind of like kind of like they telling you. Well, okay, like we we were friends, but we kind of fallen for each other. Mm. They have a song like "Where Is the Love," where the people who are in love it's like fall start falling out of love, and like they like it's it's getting bad now. Where is the love you said you give to me as soon as you were free? Well, in heaven, where is the love? You told me that you didn't love him, and you were gonna say goodbye. But if you really didn't mean it, why did you have to lie? That's Donnie Hathaway's part. Now you could you can tell by the words of the song like what they're talking about. Uh, Roberta Flax says, "Where is the love you said was mine or mine till the end of time?" Donnie Hathaway responds, "Was it just a lie? Where is the love?" See here, you hear the lyrics of the song like catch the lyrics, you know, like, oh boy. If you had had a sudden change of heart, I wish that you would tell me so. See? It's crazy. Then they then they end up saying, Oh how I wish I never met you. Like, damn. And then she's like, Oh how I wish I never met you. I guess it must have been my fate. To fall in love with someone else's love All I can do is wait Now you it? They fall in love with someone else's love All they can do is wait And then you know that They weren't supposed to be together But they got together And Ta-da! Okay, let's see. Oh, won't let them take you away. An angel whispered to me when I woke this morning that I would find heaven by my side. The world you and in the morning, laying in my arms and in my mind. Yeah. You could feel the chemistry between those two when they were singing those songs. You like it's all like as is, it was almost they had a relationship that was more than just work. 
because not only were the words impactful, but you can hear in this singing, like, well, to me, you can hear in this singing that this was deep. So if there wasn't a relationship with them in actuality, then that was some of the best acting slash singing I've ever heard. Like I said, she uh, she's a, she's amazing in her own right. Like I said, she wrote "Killing Me Softly." Like, I, like she's known more for her writing than her singing. You know, from what I've gathered, because like when you hear about singers, I rarely hear her name get mentioned. I don't know why, but when you hear about writers, like people who write, I hear her name. I hear Prince's name, I hear Stevie Wonder's name, I hear the Brother Flax's name, but when it comes to singing, I don't hear her name so, for some reason. I have no idea why. People need to stop playing around. Like, like she ain't got that, like she ain't got them skills. Oh well, yeah, she is highly to me. Roberta Flack is one of the most underrated musicians, and especially one of the under, underrated uh, female musicians. But just, just in general, she's just highly underrated. Like if you would just look up her catalog of all the work she's done, you like yo, you know what? There's no way in the world she. She shouldn't get the respect that she like. She is to me. She's underrated. She's been underrated. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I just, it's just something. I mean, but she, she's one of, she's one of those musicians where you either gotta be a musician yourself. Or a serious music lover. Like you gotta really be into music in some capacity to really know and understand who Roberta Flack is. Like the general I mean the general public probably don't know. That's unfortunate to say. It's like I don't think the general the general public really understand about Donny Hathaway. Unless you were introduced to him, or unless you are a musician yourself, or you know, just you 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 had some contact with him. But you got to know about him. You got to know about the brother Flack. You got to know about him. Let me sign this thing. I'm about to wrap it up. Let me sign this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Miss Roberta Flack. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will catch you all later. Peace.